Hello, I'm Leanne Sparr. In this section, we will be covering depreciation units of production method. The specific objectives we will cover are, we will describe the units of production method of depreciation. We will use the units of production method to find the depreciation per unit. We will calculate the annual depreciation using the units of production method. And we will prepare a depreciation schedule using the units of production method. Now let's find the depreciation per unit. We have an asset whose cost is $300,000, the salvage value is $25,000, his estimated life is 4,000 hours, and we want to find the depreciation per unit. In order to do that, we need to define the units of production method of depreciation. The units of production method is used when an asset has a useful life in terms of units rather than by its age. To find the depreciation per unit, we use this fraction. The depreciation per unit is always equal to the depreciable amount divided by the units of life. So let's find our depreciable amount. So our depreciable amount will be $300,000 subtract 25,000 which is $275,000 so our depreciation per unit and in this case the depreciation per unit will be the depreciation per hour will be $275,000 divided by 4,000. So the depreciation per hour will be $68.75. Now let's calculate annual depreciation. In this exercise, we have an asset whose depreciation per unit is 73 cents, and it has produced 16,500 units. So the amount of depreciation will be sixteen thousand five hundred units times seventy three cents per unit, which is twelve thousand forty five dollars. Now let's prepare a depreciation schedule. Cruise Landscaping purchased a Kenworth truck at a cost of $87,000. It estimates that the truck will have a life of 300,000 miles and will have a salvage value of $15,000. Use the units of production method to prepare a depreciation schedule given the following production. Year 1, 108,000 miles. Year 2, 75,000 miles. Year 3, 117,000 miles. In order to prepare the depreciation schedule, the first thing we need to do is we need to find the depreciation per mile. So I've come down here and calculated that for you right down here. The depreciable amount will be the $87,000 subtract the salvage value, which is $72,000. The depreciation per mile will be the $72,000 divided by 300,000 miles, which is $0.24 cents per mile. So we will depreciate the truck at the rate of 24 cents per mile. So let's take a look at the depreciation schedule. Year zero, we start with the book value being $87,000. And I have taken the liberty to do all these computations for you, so it would save you some time. In year one, we have 108,000 miles times 24 cents per mile, which gives us $25,920 depreciation. That's all of our depreciation. So the book value is 87,000 subtract 25,920, which comes down to $61,080. Year two is 75,000 miles times 24 cents per mile, which gives us $18,000 depreciation, which added to the previous year's depreciation gives us $43,920 in accumulated depreciation. And so the book value then is the 61,080 subtract the depreciation, $18,000, which comes down to $43,080. The third year, 
We have 117,000 miles at 24 cents per mile, which gives us an amount of depreciation of $28,080, which added to this depreciation gives us an accumulated depreciation of $72,000, and we subtract the depreciation from the book value, which brings the book value down to $15,000. So you see that we have depreciated the entire depreciable amount. Let's remember when we're doing a depreciation schedule that the book value of an asset at the end of each year is always the original cost minus the accumulated depreciation. In this section, we have discussed the units of production method of depreciation. Again, depreciation is a very important aspect of any business, so you need to practice your units of production method of depreciation.